Hello Internet, this is Manish Bharadwaj and in this Oracle database video, I am going to show you how to install Oracle 11G Release to Standard and Enterprise Edition. First of all, we need to download Oracle 11G files. For doing so, open up your browser and go to oracle.com. Here we are. Now go to download and open up this Oracle database menu. You will be here after doing that. Just scroll a bit down and here we are. We are going to download Oracle Database 11G Release to Standard Edition, Standard Edition 1 and Enterprise Edition. And we are going to install it on Windows 7 64 bit machine. That is why we are going to download these two files. As you can see, these are Microsoft Windows 64 bit files. For downloading this file, we need to click See All. After doing that, you will be here. First thing you are going to do, accept the license agreement and download these two files. I have already downloaded these two files and these are here. As you can see, these two files are jibbed, so we have to unjib them. Right click there and click extract here. This process is gonna take time, so maybe I'm gonna fast forward this video. Okay, now extract our second file. Now we have extracted both our files. There. So first thing first. First of all, after extracting, go to your database two folder and then stage and then component. And here you'll get four files, select all and copy them. Because we are going to move these files or you can say paste this file in our database one folder and then stage and then components paste those four files here okay now go back back and back now in our database one folder we have our set of file right click over it and select run as administrator it's gonna ask you for the permission accept it and we're gonna have our OUI which is our Oracle Universal Installer here we are installation process is gonna take around, around 20 to 15 to 20 minutes this is our first window. Here we need to give email. If you are Oracle support member, you can give your password. I'm gonna avoid it. I'm not gonna put anything here. There's a silly warning, I don't know why. Here, it will give you a three option. Either you want to create and configure the database. You can also install only the software and you can create database after that by using dbca and upgrade the existing database i'm gonna select this create and configure database and then next as i'm not going to install it on any server this is my windows 764 bit machine so i'll click on the desktop class and click next these are few important things well we are we need enterprise edition so we will not mess up with this we need to give our administrator password and i'll give here oracle only you can give whatever you want just for the installation purpose i'm going to put oracle as oracle password doesn't confirm the oracle recommendation standard no problem i still want to keep it now i'm gonna check for the prerequisites environment variables environment pass and so many things okay everything is fine click finish now this is gonna take at least 15 to 20 minutes and i'm gonna fast forward this thing okay at this screen we need to click password management here we are going to unlock few of our account and don't worry you can unlock it by your command line 
I'll show you in some future video how to unlock accounts using CLI. Like uh, Sys and System are already unlocked, we need to give new password. I'm giving Oracle to a Sys and confirm password Oracle again and same Oracle for our system and Oracle once again. We'll be needing HR user in a future video. So I'm going to unlock our HR user here. For doing so, here, here is our HR user. Click here, uncheck it. It means it's unlocked now. And give, give it a password. I'm going to give it HR only. And confirm password HR. Click OK. Don't worry about this, just click yes. Click OK again. And there you go. Just click close, your installation is finished now. This is the URL for your EM, your graphic user interface. You can copy it and paste it or save it somewhere. Just close it to check whether our Oracle is installed or not, go to your command prompt. First thing first, set your Oracle SID, which is the global database name, which we set on the first screen is ORCL. Now give SQL plus S sys db. Okay, SQL plus sys slash Oracle SS DBA here we are select name from V dollar data database sorry Yeah, see the ORCL is our global database name or the database with which we are connected presently. Now quit, exit. Now let's see whether our GUI is working or not. Let's enter the URL which we got from, copied from the screen. Let's see. Don't worry about it, just proceed anyway. Enter sys, your sys password, which is Oracle. It's mine password, not you. You can put whatever you want. Select sys DBA. Remember, do not select normal. Sys is always our sys DBA, so connects using sys DB. Click login. And here we are. It means everything is correctly installed. Our database is up and running. Thank you for watching video and thanks for liking, commenting, sharing and watching more of our video.